Unitree shocked the world again with the Unitree G1 robot. This time, it wasn't one or two robots, but six Unitree G1 units appearing together. All six robots performed live on stage in front of a large audience, moving in sync under real concert conditions. Then did something that hadn't been shown publicly before. Let's break down what actually happened. At a live concert in Chengdu, thousands of people gathered to watch Wang Li Ham perform as part of his tour. The crowd expected music, visuals, and a high-energy stage show. What they did not expect was what entered the performance alongside him. Six Unitree G1 humanoid robots from Unitree Robotics appeared on stage with the performer. The robots wore reflective silver outfits that interacted with the stage lighting. They were positioned clearly at the front of the stage, facing a live audience. This was not a demonstration space. This was a public performance with no separation between humans and machines. When the music started, the robots immediately entered motion. Each Unitree G1 robot adjusted step timing based on detected audio cues and pre-mapped motion timing. The robots executed turns, directional shifts, and spacing changes while maintaining formation. These were not looped actions. The routine progressed as a continuous sequence without visible resets or pauses. As the sequence continued, the robots maintained balance and alignment while coordinating movement across all six units. This required consistent posture control and precise timing so that no robot drifted ahead or lagged behind. Even as lighting shifted and sound levels fluctuated, the formation remained stable and uninterrupted. Does seeing robots perform under real pressure make them feel more impressive or more unsettling to you? Comment your thoughts below. Then came the moment that changed how the performance was understood. All six Unitree G1 robots executed a synchronized Webster flip. This move involves a backward rotation that requires control over body orientation, rotation speed, and landing stability. The robots launched at the same moment, rotated cleanly through the air, and landed together without hesitation. The action happened live, under concert lighting, with loud music and a crowded stage environment. This moment mattered because the robots had to manage balance, motion timing, and landing recovery at the same time. Any delay or misalignment would have caused instability. Instead, each robot completed the movement and returned immediately to a stable standing posture. Footage from the concert spread online within hours. Viewers replayed the clips repeatedly, looking for signs of visual effects or staged editing. That skepticism faded as more videos appeared from different angles, filmed by people inside the venue. Every clip showed the same sequence, performed live on stage. The moment reached a wider audience when Elon Musk reshared the clip and described it as impressive. That reaction helped frame the performance as a real capability milestone rather than a novelty act. If moments like this make you rethink the future, you might enjoy what's coming next here, so make sure to subscribe. What makes this event notable is how quickly progress has accelerated. Earlier, public demonstrations of humanoid robots focused on basic gestures or short routines. In contrast, the Unitree G1 robots performed continuous, coordinated movement and acrobatics in a live environment with no controlled pacing. Concert stages introduce unpredictable conditions. Surfaces vary, vibrations travel through the floor, lighting changes rapidly. Despite this, the robots maintained timing, balance, and coordination throughout the routine. This helps explain why entertainment has become an important proving ground for robotics in China. Factory robots remain mostly unseen. Stage performances place robots into environments that are public, social, and unforgiving. Errors are immediately visible. Unitree has been building toward this capability through earlier demonstrations involving continuous motion and full-body coordination. The Chengdu concert showed what happens when those abilities are placed directly into a real-world setting without safety barriers or isolation. Online responses reflected a shift in perception. Many viewers focused more on the routine itself than on the fact that robots were performing it. That shift matters. When robots are evaluated by performance rather than novelty, acceptance changes. This moment was not only about entertainment, the same abilities shown on stage, balance recovery, coordination, timing, and adaptability are required for humanoid robots working in public environments, service roles, and shared human spaces. The Unitree G1 performance in Chengdu showed how humanoid robots are moving into those spaces, not quietly and not in the background, but directly in front of people under real pressure. Is entertainment becoming the real testing ground for robotics? Curious to know your thoughts. Comment below. If you think that's crazy, wait until you hear this. Humanoid robots in 2025 are crossing a line that many people never thought possible. We're not talking about stiff mechanical machines anymore. 
We're talking about robots so realistic, so human-like, that they make you pause and ask yourself, wait, did that thing just react like a person? Their facial expressions, their body language, even the tiny way they hold eye contact, it all feels shockingly natural. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. And as we move through this list, each robot gets closer and closer to blurring the line between machine and human. So let's jump straight into it. Number 10, a head form, the new face of emotional robotics. If you want a perfect example of how fast realism is evolving, a head form is the place to start. A head form is a brand new robotics company founded in 2024 by Yu Hang Hu, whose mission is surprisingly bold. He wants robots to understand people emotionally, not just logically. Who studied robotics at Columbia University, focusing specifically on making robots expressive, not just reactive. He wasn't interested in robots that simply follow orders. He wanted them to feel alive. This vision exploded onto the global stage with his real elf, humanoid robot. One short clip went insanely viral, over 100 million views. All because of a single moment, Real Elf slowly waking up, locking eyes with the camera, and giving a smooth, controlled smirk. One viewer joked, This robot smirked better than I do in Zoom meetings. And honestly, they weren't wrong. What amazed people wasn't just the smirk, it was how natural the expression looked. It didn't feel like a robot trying to imitate emotion. It felt like a robot having emotion. A head form managed to soften that uncomfortable feeling we call the uncanny valley, and instead created something people genuinely connected with. But Real Elf also raises a deeper question. Why give a robot a face at all? When a robot can blink, smile, or tilt its head with subtle precision, it stops feeling like a machine and starts feeling like a character, something you can relate to. A head form leans into this completely, they believe that a realistic face doesn't just improve communication. It creates trust, comfort, and even warmth. And in hospitals, schools, and customer service, that realism can make all the difference. Do you think robots should have faces with this expressive, or is a head form pushing things too far? Tell us in the comments. Number 9. Omeka, The Expression Benchmark Ameka from Engineered Arts remains one of the clearest examples of lifelike robotics today. If you've been online any time in the past two years, you've probably seen Ameka's videos blowing up. She's practically a celebrity at this point. The 2025 version of Ameka is now a full-body humanoid with smooth, coordinated gestures and facial expressions that are almost unsettling in how natural they look. Ameka doesn't just speak. She reacts. If you sound worried, she softens her tone. If you sound excited, her expression shifts to match. It's not just the look, it's the presence. People who meet Emeka for the first time describe it as talking to a real person who just happens to have a metal skeleton. There's a personality emerging in Emeka's interactions, a style, a rhythm, a vibe. And that's why she has become one of the most famous robots on Earth. If Ameka looks this real today, imagine what her 2026 version will be capable of. Number 8. Sophia, the first global celebrity robot. Sophia from Hansen Robotics has been around for years, but 2025 marks one of her biggest leaps forward. Sophia was the robot that introduced millions of people to the idea of human-like androids, and she hasn't slowed down since. The newest versions of Sophia have far more skin-like material, uprated eye tracking that follows your gaze naturally, and micro-sized muscles that allow subtle expressions most robots still can't do. But Sophia's real strength is conversation. With an improved AI backend, she can maintain long, natural discussions without looping or drifting off topic. She's been on talk shows, hosted events, and even participated in interviews that genuinely surprised people with how coherent she sounded. The Uncanny Valley. Sophia continues to shrink it year after year. Number 7. Morin, the Uncanny Valley Breaker. If there's one robot on this list that makes people say, okay, this is getting real, it's Morin from Amogo Robotics. 
because Morin doesn't just have expressive facial features. She moves. Most hyperrealistic androids are great at facial expressions, but limited in mobility. They stand behind desks, sit in chairs, or move their arms slowly. Morin breaks that mold completely. She walks naturally. She gestures while speaking. She dances. She can turn her head while moving without losing any realism in her face. Her coordination is so smooth that she has already been used as an event host, greeting visitors, guiding people through exhibitions, and interacting like a human presenter holding the crowd's attention. At 165 centimeters and about 45 kilograms, Morin also looks proportionally human, which makes her physical presence even more uncanny. A robot that looks human and moves human? That's a different level of realism, and it's one the industry wasn't expecting this soon. Number 6. Muhammad, the mischievous android of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's first humanoid male robot, Muhammad, developed by QSS Robotics, has quickly become one of the most talked about robots in the region. Mohammed originally appeared in traditional Saudi clothing, but his design has evolved over multiple versions. He can speak both Arabic and English, making him surprisingly approachable for public demonstrations. He gained widespread attention during the Deep Fest event in Riyadh, where a particular clip went viral. During a live segment, Al Arabiya reporter Roya Qasim stood beside Muhammad, and the robot unexpectedly extended its arm toward her lower back. The reporter jumped slightly, raised her hand, then continued her segment like a professional. QSS reviewed the footage and confirmed that the robot had not deviated from its expected behavior. Whether it was sensor drift, misaligned movement, or just bad timing, Muhammad unintentionally became known as the mischievous robot, a nickname that has stuck with him ever since. If this is Saudi Arabia's first male humanoid, imagine the next version they're preparing. If you love these deep dives into the future of AI and robots, hit subscribe. We've got much crazier stuff coming. Number 5. X-Robot – The Industrial Human Stand-In Some robots on this list focus on expression, but X-Robot approaches realism from a completely different angle, practicality. Factories were built for humans, not robots. Instead of redesigning entire production lines, X-Robot adapts to the environment we already have. With realistic hands that can grip standard tools, a human proportion body that fits into tight workspaces, and visual systems designed to interpret information like a human operator, X-Robot blends into manufacturing environments naturally. And here's what surprised companies. Human workers actually like working with X-Robot. Its human-like appearance creates a natural sense of collaboration. It doesn't feel like a cold industrial machine. It feels like a tireless co-worker that never needs a break. The economic impact is huge. Instead of investing millions to redesign factories, businesses can simply integrate X-Robots into their existing workflow. This isn't just automation. It's a manufacturing revolution that feels strangely familiar. Number 4. AZI – The Robot with an Artistic Soul AZI from Automata is where robotics gets delightfully weird. AZI isn't built for customer service or factory work. AZI exists to challenge how we think about creativity, art, and even consciousness. AZI's design blends transparent elements with organic curves, creating a look that's halfway between a machine and a sculpture. But the real magic happens when AZI paints. This robot studies artists, analyzes art history, and learns from its own experiences inside galleries. When AZI creates, it's not just following commands. It's generating a style that evolves over time. Critics argue endlessly. Is AZI truly creative or just mimicking patterns? But that's exactly the conversation Automata wanted to spark. Because if a robot can create art that moves people emotionally, does it matter where the emotion came from? Gallery shows featuring AZI have become cultural phenomena. Visitors watch AZI paint live while discussing art philosophy with the robot itself. Whether you see AZI as an artist or a tool, 
it's impossible to ignore its impact on the future of creativity. Number 3. Mark 1 – The DIY Android That Shocked the World Mark 1 isn't just a humanoid robot. It's one of the most astonishing DIY achievements in robotics. Built entirely by one person, Ricky Ma from Hong Kong, Mark 1 looks like something that should have come out of a major tech lab. Instead, it came from a tiny balcony workshop. Ma spent a year and a half and tens of thousands of dollars turning that balcony into a personal robotics lab. He 3D printed roughly 70% of the skeleton, molded the silicone skin by hand, and wired every servo and mechanism himself. When Mark 1 debuted in 2016, the internet exploded. The robot could respond to voice commands, smile shyly when complimented, and even whisper a soft hee hee, thank you. With responses that gentle, people forgot they were watching a one-man project. Mark 1 proved something important. You don't need a billion-dollar company to build a humanoid that feels real. Sometimes it only takes one person who refuses to accept limitations. If a balcony can produce Mark 1, what happens when millions of creators start building their own humanoids? Number 2. Grace, the healthcare companion. Grace was built for a different purpose entirely. Designed by Hanson Robotics with partners from the Awakening Health ecosystem, Grace is meant to bring warmth, conversation, and emotional relief into clinics and elder care homes. Grace was created during the pandemic to help reduce pressure on frontline workers and offer companionship to isolated patients. She greets visitors, holds friendly conversations, and even performs stress relief check-ins using a soft, calming voice. Equipped with a thermal camera in her chest, Grace can measure body temperature and read facial cues, allowing her to respond empathetically when someone seems anxious or fatigued. Her face uses Hanson Robotics' signature Frubber material, giving her soft, natural expressions. She speaks English, Cantonese, and Mandarin, helping her connect with patients in the language they're most comfortable with. People started calling her the healthcare robot COVID-19 created, and honestly, that description fits. Grace is not here to replace nurses. She's here to support them. Would you feel more comforted or more uneasy being cared for by a robot like Grace? Tell us your honest feelings. Number 1. Geminoids The Hyperreal Twins The Geminoids are some of the most convincing androids ever created. Built by Japanese roboticist Hiroshi Ishiguro, these robots are designed as near-perfect duplicates of real people, featuring human hair, realistic wrinkles, and silicone faces molded directly from detailed scans. The first major breakthrough was Geminoid HI-1, Ishiguro's own robotic double. What shocked people wasn't big motion, it was the small things. Soft blinks, gentle eyebrow lifts, slight head turns that looked strangely natural. Early versions used air-powered mechanisms, which made facial movements smoother and quieter than typical motors. A human operator controlled the robot in real time, allowing it to breathe, blink, speak, and mimic human timing with uncanny accuracy. Later models like Geminoid F refined the mechanics with fewer actuators, but even more polished expressions. This work eventually led to robots like Erica, continuing the same goal, realism through micro-expression, not theatrics. Even today, Geminoids remain the gold standard for androids that look and behave like real people. Humanoid robots aren't just improving, they're starting to feel familiar. Some can emote, some can walk, some can create, some can care, and others can make you forget you're looking at a machine. We're still early in this journey, but one thing is already clear. The line between human and humanoid is getting thinner every year, and most people don't even realize how fast it's happening. The next wave is coming, and when it arrives, videos like this won't feel futuristic anymore. They'll feel normal.